The odds appear to be stacked against a measure to legalize sports betting. Our Missouri Capitol Bureau Chief Emily Manley has more on the holdup after lawmakers debated for eight hours. Nearly all of Missouri's neighboring states allow sports betting, which is why many Missourians cross state lines to place a wager. The reason why the Senate hasn't been able to legalize it is because some members want to approve slot machines for gas stations and bars. You want a standalone BLT bill, then you let it go first. Right. That's right. I let it. Go. Let's vote that out first. Right. And then let's talk about sports betting. Video lottery terminals, better known as VLTs or gray machines, are currently unregulated in the state. If I could wave a magic wand and get rid of all of them, I would. Thousands of these video gaming machines that pay a cash prize are found in places like gas stations. While some want to legalize VLTs, others say the two topics should be kept separate. The thing you learned last night, certainly the, the will of the body is not to marry the VLT issue and the and the sports betting issue. For eight hours Wednesday, senators went back and forth on how to move forward with sports betting. In order to keep Missouri tax dollars here, to eliminate the unregulated market of illegal sports betting, and to protect consumers, we need to pass Senate Bill 30. The provision to regulate and expand grain machines failed, causing the overall issue of sports wagering to fall short of a vote. You can go to the casino and make as many bets as you want. You can buy lottery tickets, but I can't bet 50 bucks on the Chiefs to win the Super Bowl next year or the Cardinals to win the World Series this year. Last month, the House passed its own version of sports betting, estimated to bring in more than $20 million. I think sports betting is yet another great example where the super majorities that the Republicans hold, um, they can't seem to get priority legislation done. But across the building in the upper chamber, Missouri we could be playing another losing hand at a bill supported by all of the state's professional sports teams. The odds, yeah. not good. Yeah, <laughs> unfortunately. Last week, another one of Missouri's bordering states, Kentucky, legalized sports betting. Robin does think the House's bill will come up on the Senate floor for debate, but there's only five weeks left in session to get sports wagering to the governor's desk. Reporting from Missouri Capitol Bureau, I'm Emily Manley.